Hey, how are you? I hope you're alright, and I, I hope things have been good. But maybe things haven't. You see, overthinking is a problem that I used to suffer with a long, long time, and I didn't, I didn't even realize it. And it was mainly in social environments with friends, or like even texting between guy friends, and past relationships, especially past relationships. And it wasn't until I started going on self-improvement, and after two years of being on self-improvement, I started to realize a way out. This video isn't going to have a lot of editing, but I'm going to tell you a story, and I want you to literally close your eyes, and if you can't get to the end, then your attention span is skewed. But I'm just going to tell you a short, short story that could literally open your eyes and change the way you think, and the things that you worry about. My name is Wada, and I help other young men like me take back control of their lives. Now close your eyes, and just think, in a hundred years, in a hundred years it will be the year 2124. All the things that we own, all of our tiny little possessions, photos, that house, that expensive car that we maybe got, all of the things that we own, everything, will either be someone else's or gone and destroyed. In a hundred years time, when we are long gone and we're with our loved ones, our descendants won't know much about us at all. I mean, how many of us know our grandfather's father's name. Even just decades after we've passed away, all of our accomplishments, all of our photos about things that we've done will become a part of history, forgotten. With this in mind, 95% of our worries in our current day about our past self, present self, and future self, a lot of our worries are pretty much pointless. But after this, we realize with this in mind, that our thoughts and our actions could actually change, but change for the better. Free to actually live the way we want, freely. The most important thing out of all of this that I have learned and I've told myself over and over again whenever I'm overthinking in social environments or with relationships is that if it doesn't matter in five years, don't spend more than five minutes worrying about it because in that friendship group where I was being socially awkward and worried about how I look, whether I'm taking part in the conversation, whether I'm contributing something to the friendship group, when I'd worried about all these things, even to the point where what to write back in that group chat. In five years time, I'll be way more comfortable with that group and I won't be thinking about it. Or maybe in five years time, that group won't even exist anymore, which it doesn't. So just be mindful with the present moment and enjoy the time you have. With this in mind, I actually managed to escape this kind of prison that my mind created for myself. If you're not subscribed to me, then you probably won't ever see this channel again. But if you are, there's another video that will pop up in the corner, and if this video helped you out, click on it. Because this could definitely change your life as well. Stay consistent and do the best you can. You know what time it is? Self-improvement kiss.